This is Twit. Google researchers have discovered a bug in SSL 3.0 that could enable hackers to hijack user accounts for banks, email, and other services. And they named it Poodle for padding Oracle on downloaded legacy encryption. Great name. Dennis Fisher is a journalist who specializes in security and wrote about Poodle for ThreatPost. Welcome to you, Dennis Fisher. Thanks for having me. Now, how would a Poodle attack work exactly? So there's a, a couple of requirements that have to be in place for the attacker to be able to execute this. Um, most importantly, the attacker needs to have control of the network that the victim is on. So uh, typically this would be sort of a man in the middle situation where, you know, you're sitting in a coffee shop or an airport and you're using a public Wi-Fi hotspot and an attacker has been able to take control of that hotspot. So he can, uh, you know, intercept um, the traffic between you and whatever destination you're trying to reach. So SSL was designed in part to protect against things like that. So it encrypts the traffic between you and the web server on the other end. Um, and the the attack that the, fo the guys at Google developed allows an attacker, if he can get some JavaScript to run in your browser and then force your browser to make, you know, several hundred requests over a certain period of time, he can slowly decrypt the traffic between you and the server, um, which is, you know, obviously not what the protocol was designed to do. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, man, man in the middle, ta uh, man in the middle attack is uh, the name of that type of attack. And it's been around for a long time. I think it's kind of sexist. It should be person in the middle. I think it discourages <laughs> young girls from getting into the malicious hacker business. But um, what can IT admin and users do to protect themselves against this? It sounds uh, like there isn't a whole lot they could do right off the bat, is there? On the user side, the best thing you can do is to use an up-to-date browser. So uh, at the same time that the Google researchers announced this attack yesterday, uh, they also announced that Chrome, the most recent version of Chrome, has uh, a protection in place for this that prevents um, web servers from forcing the uh, client to fall back to an old, older uh, protocol, such as SSL 3.0. Um, Mozilla is going to um, disable SSL 3.0 by default by the end of next month as well. Um, it's really up to site operators, though, the guys running the web servers, to disable it on their end so that the clients don't try and use that protocol when they connect. Um, the only modern, you know, if you want to call it modern browser, major browser that still uh, doesn't have anything uh, more secure than SSL 3.0 in it is IE6, which, you know, as you know, it's really old. Uh, you shouldn't be using it anyway. And, you know, hopefully this attack will, if nothing else, kind of drive a stake through IE6. Now, how does this compare to Heartbleed and Shellshock? Uh, they're completely different. I mean, on the scope of seriousness, um, I, I would say that Heartbleed was probably the, the more serious of those three. Um, it affected such a wide range of servers and clients. And, you know, very quickly after the announcement was made, uh, there were active attacks using Heartbleed uh, going on right away. Um, you know, Shellshock also extremely serious, and it also affected a wide range of software. You know, pretty much every version of Linux uh, has Bash in it, um, which is the vulnerable component. Um, and, you know, the Poodle attack is sort of a... a, a follow-up to some, some older... Uh, crypto attacks against SSL that have come out in the last three or four years, like Beast and Crime, um, they all sort of have some very specific requirements uh, in order to execute them. And there's various ways that you can protect against them. But, you know, in terms of things that users need to worry about uh, in their everyday lives, you know, Heartbleed was probably the at the top of that list of those three. Now, has a Poodle attack actually occurred yet, or is this all just theoretical? Uh, there's no real way to know. I haven't heard anything yet about active attacks using this, but that certainly doesn't mean anything. Uh, you know, there's no real way to tell whether uh, this was discovered independently by uh, attackers, you know, weeks or months or years ago, and they've been using it. Um, but the Google folks that, that disclosed it yesterday um, didn't mention anything about active attacks. 
Uh, so, you know, we just have to sort of hope that there haven't been yet. And as I said, you know, the in order to, to execute this attack, it, it has some highly specific requirements. And there's honestly, there's easier ways for attackers to get what they want from a user. Uh, you know, simply getting a, a piece of malware or a keylogger onto, onto a user's uh, machine, in a lot of cases, will get them the banking credentials that they're probably after anyway. Dennis Fisher, Fisher writes at threatpost.com, and you can follow him on Twitter at Dennis F. Thanks for joining us, Dennis Fisher. Thanks so much for having me. All right.